everybody. So a couple of years ago I made a video on the Earth battery because I was interested in it. What I found was that the people involved fall into camps. And there's a whole camp of people who go, no, that's a load of BS, all it is is galvanic action and that rod is rotting. Then there's a whole camp of people who go, no, 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 that's telluric currents and the mysterious power of the Earth. Then there's a whole group of people who go, I don't care if it works, I just want to build a big one. Turns out there might be another explanation. What you're looking at is bacteria. You can find these in lots and lots of soils. If you wet the soil and the soil holds together, then it's going to be full of these things and you can see them glistening in the sun. And what they are are exoelectrogens, which is a whole class of bacteria that have recently been discovered. These filaments are able to conduct electricity about as good as a copper wire. The bacteria use them for finding food and finding oxygen and conducting the electricity between them as they form these wires. The research on these things are astonishing, with scientists actually growing them in the lab in small pits to measure how well they actually conduct and to use them to replace wires with biological wires. Now they're particularly prevalent in airless soils like estuary mud, that kind of thing, but they can be found absolutely everywhere. And the thing about them is that they conduct the electricity outside of the cell down those little wires. Now they're not the only class of exoelectrogens. There's a whole class of exoelectrogens that produce electricity and a whole class that eat electricity. And that kind of makes sense because life is really about the movement of electrons. We take in sugars and we make something called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That is taken to the muscles, break it down into ADP, adenosine diphosphate, releasing a phosphate and an electron. And that's our electron transport. That's then taken back and made ATP using electron inside of the cell. And that's how we transport electrons around for life to happen. Exoelectrogens transport the electrons directly outside of themselves. If we look at ATP production a little bit more, what we can see is that the ATP is produced by a cascade of electrons from a high energy to a low energy. Now we do that with glucose and at the end of the day we need oxygen as the final acceptor. That's why we need to breathe. Incidentally, that's exactly what cyanide does. Cyanide gets between the oxygen and the electron and so it stops that process and we die. Some bacteria have done away with an awful lot of that process and they can literally absorb the electrons directly and use those electrons directly to form ATP. Actually, stunningly easy to collect. If you stick an electrode in the ground and put a small voltage on it, those bacteria will be attracted to that electrode. They'll cluster around the electrode, eating the electrons and growing on the electrode. So you can collect these bacteria all by yourself and they will collect on your earth battery. And they are actually already being investigated and used for things like uh, fuel cells, uh, batteries and for even cleaning up water. So some of these organisms wire themselves together, some of these organisms eat electricity, some of these organisms breathe out electrons or if you like they breathe out electricity. Now, so far, they've been found all over the place. It's not like they're rare, they're just everywhere and we haven't discovered them. It just goes to show, however much you think you know about the world, the world is so complex, there's far more that you don't know about it. So they discovered these things and these things are separate at the moment. So some organisms breathe in electricity, uh, sorry, breathe out electricity, some organisms eat electricity, some organisms wire themselves together with wires as good as copper cables, and they've been individual finds. And what they're looking for, of course, is an organism that does all three of these things, and they reckon there's a high probability of them finding it if they just keep on looking. And given that they've already found, I can believe that too. Of course it's huge and everybody's interested in it, including NASA. I mean an organism that eats, breathes, poops, electricity, wires itself together and lives off minerals in rocks and soil. 
who wouldn't be interested in NASA are thinking about packing it into a spaceship and sending it off to Mars or the Moon because of course you, you're looking at a small culture and you will grow your energy production when you get there in environments that have no oxygen. It's absolutely fascinating but when it comes to Earth batteries it raises that question is it galvanic action? Is it telluric currents? Or is it an organism we have only just discovered that naturally does this job. I thought it was really interesting when I found about, out about it. I shared it with you because I thought you would find it interesting too. I hope you did. Thank you very much for watching the video and please do remember to like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell.